Welcome back Ceramics 2. In this video I'm going to talk about the drain catch for your citrus juicer. So if you've made a juicer like this with the pulp catch here, I'm going to talk about how to drain that. Uh, if you've made one that has the juicer part on top that's going to flow through the bottom into your bowl, I'll talk about the juice catch for that. If you have made the basic version with just the citrus juicer on top and no catch, it's just the bowl, you don't need to worry about this video because you're gonna have to use some other kind of strainer when you pour that liquid out of your spout. Um, it'll have all the little chunky pieces of pulp and seeds and stuff, so you'll just have to separate that out uh, some other way. So, uh, going back to our uh, catches, if you've got the citrus juicer with the catch here. There's a couple different things you can do, okay? And I'm just gonna demonstrate a, a couple different models on here. Number one, if you wanna just be super simple, you can take a fettling knife, and once your work is a little bit leather hard, hold your fettling knife up and just make a little slit up, and then another little slit up, like so, to just take a little teeny notch out of the catch. This will allow the juice to flow down, but it will uh, either get full of the pulp or once the pulp fills that little bit in, the juice will still come through that little slot, but it won't uh, allow all the pulp or seeds to come through. <sighs> okay, now you have to be careful that on the inside, you're kind of holding your fingers on the inside in order to know that you're not cutting too far. You don't wanna cut past the dome. Um, another way to do this, depending on how large that catch is, you could take a needle tool here and you could kind of gently bore it through the catch and down, I'll try to get this up so you can see it, and down into the bowl area, kind of like that. Now you're gonna have to make sure that that hole is like big enough so that it actually allows enough juice to get through. So if I kind of take this needle tool and I poke it down from a couple different directions, it's kind of just, uh, it's kind of hard to get the camera looking in there, but you can kind of see how it's just on the side of the um, catch. Um, you can kind of get that and make sure that you can see through the hole. Uh, I can't get the, the video camera in there, but right underneath here where my needle tool is touching, I can actually see through that whole area, okay? So that's gonna, that method will take a little bit longer, but you could use it to actually be decorative. So for example, like right now, I'm kind of carving this into a circle, and I'm just kind of wiggling the needle tool around in there to make like a circular opening. And then I can go back with a modeling tool or fettling knife and kind of pick out the little schnibbly chunk, smooth it out with my finger, and have a nice hole that's gonna go through that catch. This looks a little nice. I feel like this looks a little nicer because I don't really like the slots in that curved um, rounded throne part. I like to not see the little slots in there. Um, so depending on how large your catch is, you can use a knife or a needle tool or some other tool to kind of clean the top off and then make sure that the hole is coming, and I can't show you because it's underneath there, but make sure that the hole is coming out underneath and that liquid can actually pour through there, okay? So, if you have the kind with the catch, you need some kind of mechanism for the juice to get through that catch and down into the bowl part, but keep the, um, the pulp and seeds up at the top, all right? Now, if you've got one like this, where you've got the the, juicing basket on the top and a bowl on the bottom, what you're gonna wanna do is take a needle tool and poke through kind of the lowest part of your catch area. And what you're gonna find is that when you poke through, you'll have kind of an idea of where that poke through is gonna come. Now, you wanna make sure that you're not poking out past the end of the bowl here, right? You want your your uh, juice to be draining out in this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda line these little um, holes up. I'm gonna poke all the way through. I'm gonna line a couple of the holes up, kinda right along so that they're uh, symmetrical with my little juicing ribs, just for sake of being even and pleasing. 
And then I'm going to make a decorative hole somehow. I think what I'm gonna do is rather than just have a hole, I think I'll have like a little slot. So I'll show you the design that I'm gonna start with and then uh, I'll turn the video off and I'll do that design off camera. So I'm just gonna take my knife, slide it in on one side, slide it in on the other side. Then I'm gonna push that little chunk through to the other side. And now that I can kind of see through that other side, I'm just gonna scoop that chunk of clay out. And I'm gonna make sure that I can still see through. So if you look into that hole there in the video, you can see through there. But I wanna make sure that slot is, again, big enough that the liquid can get through. And don't forget we're gonna glaze these, right? So that needs to make sure, you, you need to make sure there's no glaze in there. Um, and when I get to the point of glazing this, I'll make the video for that. But you want that slot to be just big enough that the juice is going to be allowed through, but yet you don't get, there you go, but yet you don't get um, the seeds and such. So I'm gonna kind of manicure it from the top here too. I'm just gonna make sure it looks nice and that it's kind of a little uh, triangle-y look. And I'm just gonna brush all the little chunks off and smooth it down back into the bowl so that I have a nice even hole there. Okay, so that's kind of the hole that I would have for my catch on my bowl juicer. Now what I'll do is I'll just put these all around that inside bit so, what, so when I'm juicing, that juice will go through the holes and down into my bowl. All right, so uh, for the next part of your juicer project, you need to make the holes for the catch, or if you have the uh, simple style like this, uh, you can skip that part. Okay, so thanks for joining me for making the holes for the juice catch on your juicer for Ceramics 2.